the Ford 6000 from Corfu, New York. Fairly new tractor. Only eight or nine passes, I believe, on it this year off just for Jason Gutman. Oh, wow. And there comes our modified tractor, the Scream and D we were talking about, as it will be making a display, display tomorrow as well, I believe, at Tony Brown Chevrolet. If you want to get out there and look closely at this tractor, I believe Chuck is going to be out there tomorrow with the Scream and D. And we're looking things over there with Jason Strecker. Not quite sure if it won't go into gear for him. Uh, might be the problem there, but we've got our drivers down there as well trying to help him out. And we may have got it there. We're trying to work still on things that got him all the way from New York. Over ten and a half hours of driving, folks, to be here to pull tonight in Brandenburg, Kentucky. It's a Ford 6000 power plant built with the Hoopman family as well as the tractor. So if you're interested in going pulling, you can talk to them. He runs with the State Fuller's ESP out throughout the state of New York. Jason down and we're going to fire Rex Kuhn from Morristown. He's going to come to the starting line with the John Deere 7830 known as Get Her Done. Jason will step off the tractor there and look things over. You can see that they're under the tractor trying to see exactly what might be the problem. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get a pass out of that Ford 6000 before it's all said and done. starting line. On deck will be Larry Phillips out of Ryan Grove, Kentucky with Extremely Insane. a good shot folks let's give him a nice round of applause out of Morristown Indiana John Deere fans let me hear you And 43, 299 and 43. And Marcus Wettelson dodges that one at 300.14. He remains on the bubble. 300.14 of gunpowder and lead. He sits on the bubble. Rex Kuhn goes 299 and 43. That puts him into the number four position. That bumps Mike Hoppy down to number five at 289 and 18. 
Brandon Phillips goes to six at 273 and 76. Jason Urban at seven, 240 and 25. Two remaining, Larry Phillips out of Iron Grove, Kentucky. Extremely insane. And then we'll have Jason Hoopman and the commander. season and then of course got it back at the uh, middle part late part of the summer last year went ahead and got the tractor back and uh, now he is running on the full circuit enters in the number seven position number seven position on the grand national circuit right now son brandon helping him get back 273 and 76 the distance that brandon laid down and we're going to see if dad can do just a little bit better 300.14 the distance right now on the bubble. Marcus Wendelson out of Postville, Iowa with the gunpowder and lead. Brian Korth sits number one and number two. Number one considered armed and dangerous. 303 and 15. And then excessive force at 301 and 30 in number two position. Jason Hoopman is unfortunately broke this evening, folks, with the fort. The commander of the 6,000 there, all the way from New York. Can we give him a nice round of applause as he turned here to be with us this evening? And Woo! Being a bit and, uh, go back into the pit area, of course, and work hard to try to get everything fixed to be with us uh, tomorrow evening. Don't forget, we're back here again. Uh, we'll, we'll, be the here we'll make sure you're back with us. We will go into our pull-off. We have three tractors, of course, in the pull-off category. 303 and 15, Brian Korth comes to us, of course, from Newton, Wisconsin with a considered armed and dangerous. 301 and 30, an excessive force. The second tractor he will drive. And then we have Marcus Weddelson at 300.14 with gunpowder and lead.
After the pull-off, we will have an awards presentation as well as an exhibition pass from Chuck Knapp with the Screamin' D. He comes to us out of Iowa with this tractor. A newly acquired tractor in the off-season, he put it together to run the modified class with the NTPA Grand National Circuit. And of course, they have a tool drive truck that will be in competition a little bit later on this evening. They came from all the way from New York. Race fans, please join the NTP in welcoming our. I would say they're probably going to work over overnight. Has recognized as a leader in heavy duty diesel engine oil and is proud to return for another exciting season as the official sponsor of the NTPA Grand National Champions Point Series. For more information, for more than 80 years, Mobile Delvac has been chosen brand of contractors, landscapers, truckers, agricultural professionals. It's advanced formula designed to provide premium in protection all the like types of diesel powered vehicles from class 8 trucks and heavy construction equipment to the tractors and diesel pickup trucks you all know and love remember to ask for mobile Novak wherever you get your oil changed or at your local retail after all a reliable engine means reliable business and for all of you diesel pickup drivers did you know that mobile Novak is only 15w40 viscosity heavy duty motor oil chosen by General Motors for the dealer oil program. To learn more about Mobile Delvac heavy duty diesel engine oils, go to mobiledelvac.com or call 800-MOBILE-25. And we got the first of the two tractors, of course, to the starting line now that Brian Korth will drive. This is considered armed and dangerous. They worked hard, of course, to get the tractor cooled down. After that first pass, he went 3.03 and 1.5 with the very first attempt right out the gate. John Deere? Yep. John Deere. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. If you do not have earplugs, we want to go ahead and encourage you to get your kiddos some earplugs. Go to the Souvenir Merchandise Tent and grab yourself some earplugs as they have those. We bring the modified tractor up to the starting line for the exhibition run. There's no question, folks, it's going to get loud here in Meade County. Four Hemis sitting right out front where Chuck Knapp will be sitting. And, of course, this tractor known as Scream and D. Now, those of you that follow the NTBA Grand National Circuit, that tractor might look somewhat familiar to you. It was formerly known as the Funny Farmall, Ken V. He ran in the unlimited category. He sold that tractor over the off-season, built a mini-rod tractor, and he's competing with the NTPA Grand National Circuit with the little funny farm all. And this tractor, of course, had some overhaul done to it and became Screamin' Dee. there folks no question a solid effort
from Brian Korth and Mike Cheesick. We did not change our sled setting. Left the sled set to say that it was. Six three zero one and one six. That is the distance for Brian Court, considered armed and dangerous, out of Mike Cheesy.